it's your girl Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, this is just going to be a very informal video. Just kind of like an update about what's been going on because I've been gone for a little minute. And I told you guys I was going to take you guys on a journey with me. So, if you haven't noticed already, I'm talking a little different because I have gotten my braces on. Yes. Railroad tracks, whatever you want to call them, they are on. Um, this is the first step towards my journey of my double jaw surgery. So, um, news on that is I will be in my orthodontic braces um, for at least five to six months because they have to gradually get me into a surgical wire. And once I'm in a surgical wire, then I can go see my orthodontic surgeon who is going actually going to do my jaw surgery and um they'll do impressions because they have to create a, a splint for my teeth to use during the surgery um and then once those come back and they're good to go we can schedule my surgery so I'm a little excited, a little nervous as the time gets closer and closer. I have officially been in my braces. Um, it'll be a month. It'll be a month. This month, actually. Well, no, May. May the 8th will be a full month that I've been in braces again. Um, this is not my first time being in braces. Trust me, I have. This is hopefully my last time um but it is my official third time being in braces um the first two times i really don't count i count as one because well yeah once because i started um when i could afford it myself and then i moved due to military life and I had to start over because if you had orthodontic care at all, you know that a lot of orthodontists do not like doing work off of somebody else's. So if you have braces and you go to another orthodontist, they usually take your braces off and start you all the way over according to the plan they devise for you. So that happens to me. Um, the last time I had them though, we almost finished my treatment but i was supposed to come out here to germany um so i had to cut it a little short it wasn't too shy of when my completion date so that's why my teeth don't look as bad and when i went to the orthodontist here um he was pleasantly surprised at the minimal work that needed to be to, needed to be done to correct my actual teeth um when it came to my jaw this was the first well was it the first time? No. It was like the second time I've heard someone tell me that um, my bottom jaw was a little shifted to the left. So it needs to be corrected to the right. That I thought was going to be um, fit corrected with my braces, but it didn't. So they they suggested the surgery. And the orthodontist here, I love, I love Dr. Lamb. He is hilarious and very personable. So he made me feel very comfortable because even speaking about this, he also mentioned that I'm still young. I'm only 29. And he he suggested getting both done because if they do, most other ones will tell you if they do one, if it's um, to get the perfect alignment, they would suggest doing both. And then he said the up, stop. The benefit of doing both, he could also get rid of my gummy smile. If you don't know what a gummy smile is, it's when you have excess gum at the top or the bottom. So when you smile, you see a large amount of gum. Um, orthodontists will tell you technically that is not, it's nothing, it's nothing health wise wrong with it, but um, cosmetically or aesthetically, it's just not as pleasing to the eye and for me it's been a problem for me for a long time i just never thought that i would want to go the surgery route to fix it but since i have to already go through the surgery to fix other alignment issues i said why not might as well go ahead and fix it right so it's not an additional cost to anything so i said why not so that is going to be part of my surgery as well so they're going to go in and cut 
uh, a portion of my gum out and correct it along with the um, alignment of my bottom jaw. Other than that, um, good news. I will be completing my bachelor's degree June 24th. This has been a long time coming and I apply anybody that has ever stopped going to school and then later on in life decided to go back to finish because it can be taxing, especially when you are working. This is Coda, my, my, my husky. He is very clingy. <laughs> He like my man, he clingy. So, but um, I have a female as well, Zaya. She she kind of camera shy, but Coda knows when the camera's on, so he ha he makes his presence known. Trust me, you'll see him a lot throughout my videos. Um, it's funny because I'm actually looking at Zaya now. She's standing in the mirror looking at herself, guys. If y'all can see, matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all. Look at. <laughs> oh, now you moved. Well, never mind. She moved, so it's fine. But get down, boy. Get down. But, but yes, I will be a college graduate. Um, I have already submitted my petition for graduation. It has been accepted. I have a conferral date of July 1st. Um, and then I qualify for my school's winter graduation, which is in December. So, looking forward to that. Um, I'll also be doing a haul for um potential graduation dresses because i do plan on taking pictures because like i said this has been a long time coming um life hit me in different ways where when i initially went to school on a full ride right after high school i had to withdraw and make some life choices to benefit the well well-being of my myself my mother and if looking back on it, I'm actually not even upset anymore about it. I used to be upset a little bit. Like, I felt like I kind of slighted myself. But looking back on it, I felt like I was way more focused now because I wasn't, I'm not stressed about anything. I know my mom's doing well. Um, my sister is fine. I know we, everybody has a roof over their head. So I'm not concerned about any, anything outside of just my schoolwork. So I was, I performed very well. Um, Currently, I have a 3.96 GPA, so I have no issues. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Like, if nobody else tells me, I tell myself, and I, I will tell anybody. No matter how long it takes you, as long as you achieve the goals you set for yourself, pat yourself on the back, sis, or bro. Like, you got to be proud of yourself. Don't be looking for nobody else to thank you or say good job because... A lot of people be, be plotting on your downfall if you be if we if we being a hundred percent honest. Excuse the loud noise in the background if you hear slight screaming or a, a raised tone of voice. It's my husband. He's streaming on Twitch right now. So yeah, my bad for scheduling my video recording during his time. You know, but other than that, this has just been an update on my life um, and what's been going on with me. Um, also, if you did not know and you're just joining the channel, I am in the Army. I am a staff sergeant currently and I am stationed in Germany and I work in IT. So, outside of school, I have also been studying for a couple of different IT certifications. I am already um, a, net, um, a no Network Plus certified, Security Plus certified, and I have a couple of um, SANS certifications, but currently I will be going for my um, Linux Plus, um, what else, my Cyber Security um, Analysis Cert, um, I have, and my CISSP. And one other thing, of course, that I kind of missed when we were in school for my new, my current job. So, yeah. A lot going on. But a lot of these are personal goals of mine that I plan on achieving. And I have no doubt that I will. Um, but that's all, guys. Like, this was a, like I said, this was a very informal video. I just wanted to come on here and update you guys on what's been going on. Show you code, of course, because... He is always around. <laughs> He's like my little shadow. But, um, 
that's it guys until the next video look forward to these hauls coming um i have a couple of different ideas that i'm i'm cycling through with my head for content because i know i need to be more consistent and that is also a goal of mine because i, I like doing my videos i like talking to you guys so i'll see you then until then stay safe everybody take that step towards that goal sis and bro you can do it if nobody else will tell you, I will. You can do it.